Hello, it's Mark here from excelofthegrid.com. Today I want to share with you a little tip to get around a problem that people often find when they use Power Query with pivot tables. So let's have a look at this issue. So you can see here on the screen, what we have is our original data. And then we've cleaned up that original data to split it into an item column and a size column, which we can see here. And we've used Power Query for that and we've loaded that into a table on the worksheet. We've then created a pivot table based on this clean data. Now, so far, everything seems like it should be perfect. Now, I'm just gonna change this value to a thousand. Now, what we want to see ultimately is the fact that we end up with a thousand in this cell over here. So alpha small should be a thousand. So I'll come up, I'll click refresh all, and as you can see, that doesn't say a thousand. Over here in my query table, it does. So that means I have to click refresh all again for that to finally push through into my pivot table. Now that's annoying, isn't it? Having to click that button twice and remembering to click that button twice. But what we need to do is to change a few settings to make sure that queries refresh before pivot tables. So how do we do that? Well, we come to data and then queries and connections. Here's my query. I'll right click on that and then come down to properties. Here we have the enable background refresh. I'm going to uncheck that option and then click OK. Now, if I change this back to 32 and click refresh all, as you'll see the table updates, but so does the pivot table. So let me just show you that again. 1000 refresh all perfect that means that from our source data all the way through into our query into our query table and then finally into our pivot table everything now calculates in the correct order so i hope you found this tip useful if you had don't forget to subscribe and like also if you want to know more about how we can use uh, power query to automate your processes then why not sign up to our academy which you can find at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.